Hey everyone, welcome to week 36 baby updates. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. <laughs> there has been so much happening in this last week. I had a doctor's appointment, nesting mode has been crazy. My husband was gone during the weekend, so I got the whole nursery almost put together. My friend stopped by today with one of the paintings that she did for the nursery and it looks so perfect. I cannot wait to show you guys. She's so talented. I'm just, I'm over the moon that she was willing to do it. She's one of my best friends, so it's even more special. We have a lot of items that have come in from Amazon and Target and some gifts to show. And not only that, I also started a new project this week. I decided to actually take on two projects, but one of them I'm not going to do until later. But I want to first start off by saying thank you guys so much for joining me. <laughs> I would love it if you would subscribe, join our family. You can follow me on social social media as well, that would be amazing. Also, just an FYI, I don't think a lot of you guys realize this, but these videos are actually technically a week behind, I guess it would be. So tomorrow, I will be 37 weeks and I'm gonna post this video tomorrow. So they're usually a week behind because I have to go through and experience a week before I can report on the week, <laughs> if that makes sense. So just know that I'm usually like a week ahead of whatever the video says. <laughs> okay, so doctor's appointment, that was on Monday. They said I actually was my measuring a little small that time, but not to worry. They said I was normal all the other times, so I guess we'll find out on Monday if I'm still measuring small. I think I'll probably ask about it. And they also did like the bacteria test, which by the way, you guys, is way not a big deal. Like you do have to get undressed from the waist down because that's like, you know, they're swabbing around in the lady parts and whatnot. So I thought for sure that I'd have to like, you know, scoot to the end of the bed and everything like they usually have you do. They just had you like frog your legs basically and she like swabbed in like one second and then it was done. I, I don't know why I thought it was gonna be like this whole inspection or something like that and it just was not a big deal. So I was kind of personally hyping it up for nothing. So when you have your bacteria test coming up, just know it's not a big deal. It's like a one second thing, it went by so quickly. I did also have the option of having my cervix checked then as well, but I decided not to just because sometimes that can kickstart labor. So I've been told, a lot of you guys warned me that I should probably not do that just in case it kickstarted labor because our insurance is gonna kick in one week from today. So in next week's video, we should have official insurance, which is so, so nice. Oh my gosh, I swear if something goes wrong with that insurance, I will be a very unhappy person. <laughs> no, I'm sure it'll be fine. But anyways, I decided not to do the service che cervix check, which I'm glad I didn't do, but at the same time, I'm curious to see like how my stats are, I guess. Am I dilated at all? Like, I don't know. <laughs> There's definitely been a lot a lot of extra pressure and actually she had a hard time when she was measuring me Finding I think it was like my pelvic bone or something like that She had, was having a hard time feeling the bone versus the baby's head like they kind of were meshing together So so I know that he's pretty darn low But anyways Monday I'll have the opportunity to have the cervix checked also But this is still in October so I'm gonna say ixnay on that one for Monday's appointment, but the following appointment, which will be, I think, November 2nd, that one I will have my cervix checked on. And at that point, I'll be 38 weeks and one day. And I'm also gonna talk to them again about a membrane sweep. One of my friends mentioned that to me, and it's something that can encourage labor. I don't feel comfortable describing it just because I don't wanna explain it wrong, but you can like YouTube it or Google it or something like that. I just don't wanna give you like false information or anything. So yeah, anyways, I am considering a membrane sweep, but she's said sorry he's definitely very low when he moves around and stuff I get I get that like sharp stinging pain for a bit like inside the lady parts anyways now he has the hiccups <laughs> oh my gosh I honestly am really trying to enjoy these moments because I know like with him moving around and like hiccups and all that stuff I know it's not gonna last too much longer the lightning crotch I can live without that yeah, that can go. <laughs> but all the other moments, I'm like, this is special. And like being able to wear maternity clothes and having the bump, I'm like, this is special. So 
still trying to enjoy it. But anyways, back to the appointment talk, doctor talk. On November 2nd, I'm gonna consult with my OB again, with the midwife anyways, and um, talk to her again about membrane sweep and if we should do that soon or what her thoughts will be on that. I will definitely keep you guys updated, of course. Just an FYI, I do plan on posting on Instagram and on Facebook when we actually go to the hospital for like the real thing. Video of that week will obviously be posted later, but if you follow me on Instagram and Facebook and stuff, then you'll know exactly when like I go into labor and everything. Cause I wanted to keep you guys updated on that a little bit more like real time <laughs> instead of being like a week behind, you know? Moving on, uh, nesting has been so much fun. You guys know I've been holding off on buying things and such until after the showers. Cause I wanted to see like what we would still need. So I shopped during Amazon Prime Day, which you guys heard about in last week video and stuff like that. On Friday last week, I went shopping with my mother-in-law in store at Target. Good morning. Forfeit Nugent. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. What does that even mean? I have no idea. Oh my gosh. He's in the weirdest mood ever today. He's excited to go fishing this weekend. He and my father-in-law are going on a fishing trip. My, my mother <laughs> my mother-in-law and I are going shopping in Medford and we're going in the same direction and so Tony and I are going in one car and there in another car and we're gonna meet up in Medford to have breakfast with my sister-in-law because she lives there. We're gonna enjoy breakfast together and then they're gonna continue to go on their fishing trip and mom and I are going to go Target shopping to get our last or my last uh, discount with the Target completion discount get all the rest of the things we need and I'm also meeting up with some people to get some things from Facebook Marketplace. We have a diaper genie to get today and a dock tot so super excited about that today's gonna be kind of a fun adventure shopping day okay i'm back from our trip to medford it was so wonderful breakfast was awesome the drive went by really fast it's like an hour and a half away so it's a little bit of a drive honestly i really feel like god brought all like the best deals to me because <laughs> every single deal that i found on facebook like everyone has been so nice i think i've said that before but they truly have and all the items that i've gotten have been so nice oh this room might be a little bit echoey by the way so sorry about that so one of the items that i picked up from fake facebook marketplace was a dock -a tot i really wanted one of those i've heard such good things but they are just so expensive like 175 dollars just way too much i can't i couldn't justify it so i looked on facebook marketplace and i found one for 60 dollars and she was like i said so sweet and she didn't mind waiting the entire week for me to get there on friday because i messaged her on monday and you guys this is like the exact one that i wanted and she apologized that there's like a little stain on it that happened when she washed it with a different fabric and let me just show you first of all she still had the entire packaging and everything so this is the dock -tot deluxe in white oh this is so nice i mean this is so nice all of this unzips so you can clean it but like do you guys see the stain do you see it Okay, let me show you. It is, I'm like having a hard time finding it even. Oh, right here. <laughs> Look, <laughs> that's the big stain that she was talking about. And this was $60. So that's like crazy, so good. I think I might start washing stuff tonight. Yesterday was our one month mark. It was October 15th yesterday. You guys won't be seeing this until next week. Um, but yeah, I think I might start washing things just because you guys know Tony's gone this weekend. I told you he's on a fishing trip. And so it just would be such a fun thing to do. Plus I have multiple different loads. So it's going to take a while for them all to get washed anyways. I'm so excited just to put stuff together. The other item that we picked up from Facebook marketplace today was a diaper genie. I got it for $10, which I'm pretty sure those are $40 new. He even was like, Oh yeah, there's extra like diaper genie, like containers in there and everything. So there's extra bags and I was like oh like I was not expecting to get an actual container of bags and stuff it does need cleaned up so it's in the garage so 
This is what a diaper genie looks like in case you didn't know, but it's super nice to be able to put the stinky diapers in there as it really seals in all the smells and stuff so it doesn't stink up the nursery. Another thing, if you didn't notice behind me, is a boppy pillow. I got this today at Target. The coolest thing with Target, oh my gosh, I spent probably like an hour and a half there because I really wanted to make sure I got everything else that I could need from Target. I was going to use my 15% completion discount, but there's system was down so they just manually gave me the discount which means it was never scanned for my registry which means I can still use it later <laughs> I'm like I feel like I'm kind of getting away with something the only thing Target didn't have is the boppy cover that I wanted I do already have a cover but I might look on Amazon and see if I can maybe find one on there because I do want to just in case one gets soiled but anyways I'm super glad to finally have this because I've heard this is super amazing another thing I thought of was the depends diapers I already bought all the ones that I, I think I might need from Walmart but then I thought wait why not buy them from Target because then I can get the discount. So I'm gonna return like the bigger package that I got from Walmart because I did buy some from Target today. So I have two packages of the 12. I don't know if 24 of them is going to be enough. I guess if it's not, I can just send Tony to the store and have him get some more later. You guys already saw my favorite fitted sheets in last week's video. They were white that said I love you in gray on them. They match the swaddle and a blanket that I have and it's so cute. I just, I just love that one. But I got two more sheets because I wanted to be able to have extras so I got this one with arrows which matches a couple other things in the nursery and then I also got one in like a heather gray so I got some dr. Brown's bottles I decided to get the wider nipple because this one said it's the most breast like who knows if he'll end up liking this we do plan on giving him pacifiers and bottle feeding him from the beginning as well as breastfeeding of course like I mainly want to breastfeed but from the very beginning we're gonna give him pacifier and bottle so hopefully that way he won't be super picky later we have quite a few of the smaller bottles in a variety of brands from the welcome box Boxes, which if you haven't seen my welcome box video definitely take a look at that one that one was super fun to film but you can get a whole bunch of free baby things with just doing the welcome boxes through the registries these guys were buy one get one 30 percent off and then i got the extra 15 percent discount on top of that these are breast milk storage bags so now i have a little bit more than 150 so hopefully this will be like a good stash i got some safety plugs there's a plug-in that is oh i thought i said a spider <laughs> There's a plug-in that's right next to the crib like he could reach his hand and maybe touch it and so I know it's gonna be a long time till that's an issue but 15% discount I thought might as well just get them now. I had that same thought with these. <laughs> these are like the little snack cup things. Blue's my favorite color and Tony's is green so I thought the set was perfect. I know he won't need these for a while but again completion discount so I thought what the heck might as well get them. I got two of these like package roll refill things for the diaper genie. This is actually Target's brand so it's a little bit cheaper. I got the nose Frida. I've heard such amazing things about this so I wanted to make sure to get this. Vaseline we do plan on circumcising so I definitely wanted to get this. This helps with the healing process. Plus Vaseline is great just in general. I got some gripe water. I've heard that this really helps with um, gas bubbles and such so I wanted to make sure I had this on hand in case we needed it for that nipple shield this isn't something that I know that I will need but I want to have it on hand just in case seriously if there's any signs of cracked nipples like I told you guys last week with the nipple cream I just really want to try to prevent like bad experiences I know that they're gonna happen but if I can get the preventative supplies ahead of time so that way first sign I can use the nipple cream put on the nipple shield so I'm glad to have gotten these guys that's q-tips and cotton balls just because I needed them <laughs> I also got some Epsom salt this one is the actual Dr. Teal's brand this is unscented I've been really loving baths I told you guys so many times how amazing baths have been they help so much with just relieving the pressure down there with like the lightning crotch with just overall relaxation it has been so amazing but this one is just supposed to be a soothing and then this is the Target brand um it was like the same size package and everything as Dr. Teal's but it was a little bit cheaper this is in the uh, I think it's in like the eucalypt yeah the eucalyptus and spearmint scented one I also got a laundry basket <laughs> so this big gray laundry basket it's actually gonna go in the closet I wanted to get like a cute cloth one or maybe like a round wicker one or something like that but then I thought you know what for when baby soil 
spills his clothes or like stuff like that. Like his clothes are gonna be dirty. And so I don't wanna end up having to put tons of effort into cleaning like the cute, like chic laundry basket just because I wanted a cute one. And so I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna get this plastic one. At least this will be super easy to clean so I could, so I could go outside and spray it down or something if I needed to. The rocking chair is supposed to arrive on Monday, thank goodness. I'm so excited to get that. But this is the lamp that I decided to get. Um, This one. <laughs> This one was only $45. Those pink pajamas, I ended up actually exchanging. They were so see-through. It was bad. And they actually run a little bit small, especially just that pink plush color was just, it was very see-through. So I went in the store today and I exchanged them for a black pair, which I hope will be a lot better. I have a small in the Nordstrom pair and that fits so good. So I think these just run a little bit smaller. So I would say size up, especially since they are pajamas and you usually want pajamas to be a little bit more loose and comfortable. And the one that arrived in the mail today is the blue set. I didn't particularly super want the blue set, especially since I already have that in the Nordstrom one. But this is what they had on stock in line and they were 20% off that day. Plus I got the 15% discount. So I just didn't want to miss out and I figured I could go and exchange them. And then the last item from Target that arrived were some sleeping nursing bras. This one was a set of two, which it wasn't very expensive. It was $20 and then again, I got the discount. Since this is like a sleeping nursing bra, I wanted it to be a a little bit bigger and I might actually end up sizing up more to a large if this one ends up being too tight because to sleep in like I just don't want it to be too tight but I also don't want it to be too loose to where if I put in a pad to catch leaking that the pad will fall out so I'll try these on I'll give you guys an update and I'll let you know if they run small or not <laughs> I just slipped this on because I wanted to show it to you guys it feels okay, it's a little bit snug. And forgive me, I'm not taking this off just in case I wanna exchange it. I'm not quite sure. It feels a little bit tight on my shoulders. Also, do you see that hyperpigmentation? <laughs> Yeah, that stuff hasn't gone away. My armpits are still so dark looking, but hopefully that goes away after pregnancy. I will definitely keep you guys updated in that. We finally got one of our most important items. We got our stroller. I'm so happy. This is the Chico Keyfit 30 stroller. I wanted to get the color like black, so it was like black on black basically, but during Amazon Prime deals, this one in the color Orion, um, which is just basically like a really dark gray and black, I think that was the combo. This one was the one that was on sale and the color that I wanted wasn't on sale. So we ended up getting this for $120 with the Prime discount and our registry discount and it's regularly 200. So I felt super good about that, but I'm super excited about this. I'm gonna open this up and look at it cause I just can't wait. We do actually have more arriving of course so I'll continue to show you guys the things I got in another order from Target and Amazon last night so got some really cute shoes from Target because you can use that completion discount on anything you guys so their shoes were buy one get one 50% off and then I got an additional 15% off of both of them too so score I also got two car seat covers from Itsy Ritzy I also got some more pacifier clips I got those beaded ones I showed you but I also wanted to get some cloth ones it was just so awesome that their machines were new and not registering the discount since they manually entered in the discount I can still use it again one more time in store so this Friday <laughs> which you'll see in next week's video. I'm actually gonna go to Target again and get a couple more things that we need. My friend's gonna meet me, so we're gonna go shopping together. And Sephora's sale is starting as well, so I'm gonna pop into Sephora and get a couple things also. I've still been loving the Olaplex shampoo and conditioner, by the way, you guys. I feel like it has strengthened and made my hair so much healthier. Oh my goodness, it's a night and day difference than how it was a few months ago before I started using that. So anyways, um, with my husband being gone, it was super fun just occupying myself. I cleaned all the baby bottles and like sanitized any like toys that needed. I did all of the laundry. Everything is all washed and cleaned and organized for the most part anyways. Diaper bag is packed. I packed our personal bag. I wrote out lists of everything that we still need to add to the bag that are things like toiletries or like makeup and stuff like that. Those things will need to be added, but I wanted to write myself a list just to make sure we don't forget anything. I just wanted to be as organized as possible. I'm already really organized, but I'm kind of taking it to the next level a little bit, I guess. But it just felt so good to finally have everything kind of in its place. It made me feel way less stressed. Not that I was that stressed anyways, but it's just a really good feeling to have that 
kind of done, you know? I'm so excited to show you guys the nursery. There's still things that need to be done. So you guys honestly probably won't see it for a couple more weeks, but oh man, it looks so good. I just feel so blessed that we were able to kind of put my dream alive, like make it alive. <laughs> The only thing that I wasn't able to figure out with the nursery was the light fixture. And I ended up just putting the old light fixture back on because I was like, I cannot decide. So I took on a new project this week. And again, if you follow me on Instagram, I feel like you know so much more. <laughs> but let me just tell you a little bit about this big project. So in today's Baby Chronicles, <laughs> the next adventure in Babyland. So Tony and I were gifted a bassinet, which was the bassinet that he had when he was a baby. His sister had it and his cousin had it. His cousin Cousin was the first one to have it, so it's for a girl. The fabric is very old fashioned, like it's white and it has like the little like yellow poppy flowers or something on it. At first I was like, you know what, that's fine. Like it doesn't bother me. I think it's really special that it was theirs when they were babies and we're not gonna use it for very long anyways. But the more I thought about it, I was like, hmm, how hard would it be to make new fabric for that? And then the other day when I was washing the sheets, I was like, ah, these sheets are actually kind of pretty old. Well, I can make new sheets. And then I was like, you know, if I'm gonna make new sheets, I might as well just try to tackle the whole thing. So I called my mother-in-law and I kind of broke the news to her that I was gonna change it. And she wasn't hurt by it or anything. She was just like, whoa, that's a big project to take on. And so she's over here helping me, which is so sweet. She actually just ran home. They live like three minutes away from us. So she ran home to go and get like a mat so we can cut easier and stuff because I don't have one of the like sewing cutting mats. I just have cutting boards. <laughs> we just seam ripped all the pieces. Pieces laid out over here. So here is the fabric I was telling you about. And also this is one of the blankets that matches it. See, it's just like really old fashioned. Like, it's really cute, of course, and sweet memories and stuff. But since we're having a boy especially, I'm like, I think I want something different. There's the bassinet parts over there. So I am currently ironing. I just washed this, dried this, and now we're ironing because it's going to be white. And then I picked out these three fabrics. So this is gonna be one of the sheets. Oops, dropped it, sorry. And then just like a solid gray. And then I picked out this one too because I thought that one was really cute. The sheets will definitely be like the easiest part and I think like doing this base too will be one of the easiest parts but the rest might be a little bit challenging and there were some like ruffles that we took off that we're gonna do or maybe try to do I'm not sure if I'm gonna add on the ruffles and then there was also some trim which I didn't even think about and so it's definitely a huge project I didn't realize that this was quilted and it has like the batting we decided we're just gonna use this like obviously as a template but we're just gonna put white on top of it so we'll just put two layers of white so the fabric doesn't show through then it'll have like the same at least or at least similar thickness and and we won't have to get Get, like new batting and do the whole quilting and everything like that. So besides all the nesting that I did this weekend while my husband was gone, this is our latest project. <laughs> Update on the bassinet. I've been working on it all day. I didn't really work on it the last few days, but today I'm like, I've been spending hours and hours on this and I've had to seam rip and re-sew and seam rip again. And my sewing machine was like making huge loops on the underside. And so I realized that my settings were all wrong. I watched a YouTube video. I realized I had the wrong bobbin. It was like this whole thing. Anyways, I'm currently sewing on like the bottom half now. So that means that after this, the whole like shell of it for the most part should be done, which is so exciting. I'm really hoping that it fits. <laughs> And I did do one sheet today as well, which again, that took hours. I, I've never made a fitted sheet before and we didn't really have a template for that. So I had to kind of like measure the mattress and estimate and, but it turned out okay. So I'm gonna have to tackle the hood really soon too. Here is the base all done. I'm so glad that everything is like fitting. <laughs> I have to tighten like these screws and stuff, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna put lace on the edges. I kind of purposefully didn't uh, sew as well there because I thought I might like put lace there to cover it. I'm not sure if I want to now, so I don't know. I guess we will just see, but I think it actually turned out really good. I'm glad we doubled up the fabric so it just like, it looks, it looks good. Here's the sheet that I did today. It didn't turn out the best, but it'll do. <laughs> The next ones I can do better and yeah, so I use just the basic gray just to kind of have that as a, a practice one sort of, but I really love it. So the hood's gonna go in next. I am so happy. I'm so proud of this. Sorry, I'm trying to be a little quiet because my husband's sleeping. It's like getting a little late, but I have been just so motivated to finish this bassinet. We only have like three weeks left and I'm like, if he comes early, like he won't have a bed. <laughs> 
I mean, he will have the crib, but I really wanted to get it done. So I'm so stoked. I just finished the hood and I'm really excited to show you guys. I still have to do the handles and then two more of the fitted sheets. Overall, I'm so happy, so, so happy that the hood worked. <laughs> I've never done anything this elaborate before, so let me just show you guys. Here's what it looks like. I did like a little ruffle up here. You guys, this is actually like three pieces stacked on top of each other. You can't tell, but it is. And there's elastic involved too. And I sewed this on backwards. I was so frustrated. So instead of seam ripping all of this, I actually just seam ripped the back two and reversed them. So now those are fitting and yeah, I even learned how to do like a buttonhole for the handles like the original side had. I'm just so happy with how it turned out. Two more sheets to go in the handles and then it'll be all done. I can't wait for him to be in here. That's how it's going. Right now it's not quite finished. I still have a handle to do as well as two bed sheets, which is definitely not that bad. I'm so thankful to be almost done with it. I have been sewing nonstop. Seriously, I sewed for probably 12 hours straight the last two days in a row. Like I started at noon and didn't stop till midnight. Not even kidding. <laughs> so for gifts that we got, I'm so excited to show you some of the things. I'm actually wearing one of them right now. This is from one of my sweet friends, Michaela. She's actually pregnant right now with her first baby boy. Um, It's this little necklace that says mama. She wanted to get me something special. We've been getting so many things for baby, so it was really sweet that somebody wanted to spoil me with something. She got us a little teething ring. This is so, so nice. I was actually just about to buy this the other day. I was just about to buy this too because I have two of the other covers, the stretchy ones that are nursing covers as well. And I almost went to go buy this and then we got it in the mail from her. <laughs> it's like so sweet. But I love that this has like the slit that you can open it up easy and it's super easy to put on. This will be especially nice in the car and then I love that it's a little thicker and it has like the soft so it can be a blanket but I especially just love that it's thicker so in the winter it'll be perfect and then she also got us a nipple shield which will be so so handy you guys know that I am like not about to get those chapped nipples so <laughs> thank you so much this is so awesome and then Janie oh my gosh I posted in last week's video about the puppy pads that I had down and Janie was like forget the puppy pads like use this mattress cover instead so she got us this actual like nice mattress pad cover so we could put that down instead of the puppy pads I laughed so hard when I got that because it just was so unexpected she's been so sweet and sending us baby things like from the beginning she keeps surprising us with all these little gifts and so when I saw that it just just made me giggle because I just wasn't expecting someone to send that. It was awesome. So thank you so much to Janie. And then we also got in this really cute outfit. It was actually gifted to us at the baby shower here in Roseburg, but it hadn't arrived yet. And so she had it sent to us separately. And this is from Tony's Aunt Pam. I'll post a picture of it. It's a super cute little hunting outfit. He's going to look so adorable in it and Tony was so excited. He had the biggest grin on his face. I knew that that's the face he would have, just like total pride and excitement. So that's how my week has been going. I hope you guys enjoy like the vlog clips that I pop in. I thought it would just be fun to be able to show you like in real time when I'm actually doing things and stuff like that instead of it just being me here sitting and talking the whole time. I almost forgot to do the bump update. <laughs> I was just about to take the thumbnail picture for the video and then I was like, oh. I forgot about the bump update. Oh man. I got in some maternity clothes today and I filmed a like little haul on that. I'm really excited. You guys will probably see sneak peeks of some of the outfits before the video gets posted next month. But I feel so exhausted because I had to change my outfit like six or seven times, if not more, and put on multiple pairs of shoes. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it was like changing your outfit is exhausting. So anyways, here is my bump update. Here's what he looks like. Definitely still likes to wiggle a lot. You know, I was told that he would settle down. They kept telling me like, oh yeah, towards the end, like you'll feel less movement. Nope. <laughs> He's still like a little ninja, seriously, just sliding back and forth and all over, twisting and turning and rolling and... He hasn't settled down like at all, but that's okay. Like I said, I'm really cherishing it and enjoying it. And yeah, here's what he looks like. I hope you guys are having such a good day. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little update. Don't forget to subscribe, follow me on social media, all those things. And I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Mwah.
Oh, I also forgot to mention that I would really love your continued prayers that Connor does not come in the next week. <laughs> it would be really, really wonderful. Again, like I said, our insurance kicks in a week from today. If he can stay in, at least until then, then that just would be really comforting and it would also save us a lot of money. So <laughs> that would be great too. But thank you guys so much for all of you who have been praying for us already. We appreciate it so much.